Bonjour and welcome. Round two. Of the off-world industries. Squ <laughs> the squ off-world industries squad championship official tournament. Run by OWI. Someone's... See, I would mute them, but I can't because if I mute them, I can't hear them in local the next game. But uh, yeah, we've got we got speaking in tongues versus some random guys on Nava TC1. And um, I've, judging from scrims and past games played, especially in round one, I think we're in for a game. By the way, some commands for you. If you want to see what the layer is, uh, do uh, exclamation mark layer. If you want to know more about squad, exclamation mark squad. If you want to know more about the tournament, exclamation mark info. That will get you all the uh, all the details you need. Obviously, not if you're watching the VOD, but uh, we are we are the content shed and a little bit of a plug here. If you do want to join the content shed, which is my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, the best Discord. Wait for them to make their squad so we're not interrupting. Quick look at your layer. Obviously, territory control. Um, it's quite hard to cast, but let me tell you, to play in, it is excellent. It is so much fun. It's two walls against each other. You know, you have the odd flankers, um, but it is it is amazing. And we're going to shift P straight away. We're underneath ground. We start with 400 tickets on each side. I'm just going to talk you through the layer a little bit. The Russians do advance to the choke point. So the choke point are these two territories right here. Apartments and train station. So Russians can get a fob in train station. Or I did see one south of apartments at one point. So they really need to utilize that. And once they get that choke, they start bleeding the, uh, the enemy team. So that's what you really want to do. As Russians, you want to push in. You want to get control of this choke. And it's really difficult to fight from these areas coming south as US. It's just it's just insane. You have people in these windows, you know, we're, we're not talking looking straight forward. You talk you're looking at windows, there's MGs in spots which are just painful. So uh this is this is these are the two territories we're on about. That's train station right in front of us. And to our right is apartments and you can really hold these and I haven't seen the tactic yet of holding them. Teams have been advancing and trying to push um, which is great, but I think this can be, this choke point, these two little hexes we see here can be easily held, easily held, and we are live. We're going to go zip over. So we're taking three lodgies on the SRG side. SRG stands for uh, some random guys. We're taking a striker, an MRAP. They're leaving the Bradley. Leaving a striker, leaving another MRAP. We'll just have a look at your vehicles, and there you can see timers. So this is uh, tickets on the left. The time you see to the right is when they die, what when they respawn. And over on the Russian team, they're taking three lodges. We're going to take that BMP, Timo, and Kodiak. They're going to be out and taking both the 30 mils out, leaving a 14.5 and a BRDM in main. And looking at the arrows, they're going to go for... Ooh, we got an arrow here going all the way down. To um, I forgot what that cap was called. Now is it docks? I call it docks. We're gonna call it docks. But yeah, this this is what I want to see here from Spit. It's to take control of just these just these choke points, and obviously then see our SRG push south and gain control. So obviously the more territories you gain, if you keep your eyes out on the top of your screen here, this bar will swing and it will show you if any side is bleeding tickets. So SRG on the US side, speaking in tongues, spit on the Russian side. I will refer to spit at some point as BGK, and that's because it's majority are BGK members, but they are a team, they're formed, etc. So we've got 10 seconds left. We're going to go zoom over and just watch SRG roll out of main, see what they're doing. Tickets, by the way, you'll always see your tickets in the top right-hand corner. If you have a look there, both teams starting on 400. The command chat is quite quiet, by the way. I'm not really hearing anything. The audio's working. Schnauzes and sits first. That MRAP is just lacking behind. It is quicker than the uh, than the lodges, by the way. It can overtake them, but it's just going to stay behind them. 
What what you're most likely to see here is they will try and take control of Geneva Apartments, first of all. So the MRAP's going to be peeling off north, screaming in local. Open your map, have a look where BGK are going. BGK are going quite strong with the 30 mils, just in the roundabout. So down this road, we hit a roundabout, and there is two 30 millimeters. I'm going to be zipping over there, and we've got a guy, looks like he's fell through the ground already. 30 mils raining off, they're just going to be shooting down. And did that 30 mil get, did that Lodgy get scared by the 30 mils? 30 mil on the roundabout. Oh, 30 mils are aggressive, and Spit are very aggressive. You Using that Russian timing, look at the spread we have here. Going all the way across. Be careful, Logi. Ooh, Logi turned off. Logi turned off. And we got a vehicle battle already. 30 mils against the striker. Striker turns away. He's been engined. And that's trouble for the striker. We have infantry dropping out the striker. And he's going to go down. Infantry going down as well. A couple of HE rounds going off. Striker's gone. Squad lead is still alive in the building. So that's nice work from SRG. Ooh, but there's a lot that kills 130 mil. Ha There's a radio in the north, by the way, just come down, and a hab. So they've traded a vehicle there. That's nice. 30 mil is going to bounce out. And we are getting this. We are getting this fight. Oh, we're getting this fight on south of Geneva. This is quite high up for Spit. And quite, quite badly high up for SRG, as they've not got much to sort of maneuver. Ooh, Hayden taking up a nice position. What Hayden's done there. As you can get on this balcony here and jump onto this roof. And that can be quite an annoying we position. On... So, I'll quit opening your map at the start. SRG are very much on the eastern side. Western side is currently spit, so you can see squad eight. It's going board as peak, and this is going to be really difficult. I'm not going to actually. James gets taken down by Wax. They do have a Lodgy here. Hayden spotted the Lodgy. They're taking them all down. There is a rally there as well. So he can camp that rally from this roof if he wishes. He does here an M4. Ooh, did he just kill Wox? Yeah, he killed Wox. Just on the balcony there. Only uh, saliva alive. Does he dare peek? He is the medic. Get some smokes out. Get your team up. The rally's there. That's exactly what Hayden's doing, by the way. He's just going to sit on that rally. Those rallies. Ooh, Oliver's going to be peeking him, and as he's staring at the rally, he does spot him, and they get to trade. That's unfortunate for Hayden. He was in a nice position. I just want to see where Spit have put their fob. So they've put it east of train. Quite a... Quite a southerly position, considering... Ooh, there's a lot of Spit dead, by the way, and tickets. I just want to have a quick look at the kills. Sorry, wrong screen. 12 and 9 in favor of SRG. north of Castle. SRG taking control of this eastern side. Not much presence here, apart from a little bit to the southwest from Spit. See, just a hab there in the distance on the northern road. They've got a vehicle here. The 30 mil can't escape. It looks like it's trapped. I'm not sure why the vehicle, the 30 mil actually came back this way. But he is engined and enraged. He's got the lat. He's engined again. He's on fire. Now they need to jump out. Ooh, clutch, clutch HE, absolute clutch HE, just spamming it through all the gaps, getting the kill on him, Rage, but he does go down, he goes down to the MRAP, I believe that is, yeah, that's the MRAP, he went down to the MRAP, so that's both 30 mils down for Spit, the BMP, by the way, I'm not sure where it is, oh, it's holding, it's holding the bridge in the south, just going to come over to the castle area. SRG do have a lot of uh, a lot of guys on this eastern side. Ooh, getting that full auto spray. A twofa. A twofa for camps, lanes, for get caps. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is. Two guys for SRG going down on the roundabout as well. They do have a rally just to the uh, northwest of that. Zip over onto okay, Geneva to Apartments. To we need one more hanks, I guess. They did try and get a hab up. James is on that radio. Hab doesn't look like it's dug up, as far as I can tell on the map. Well, that hab is below me, and that's on sticks. James is already on the radio. He is a squad leader. So we can't dig it down. If we have a look on the map, he's not got much in support here as well. I mean, one guy who's just crossing uh, Territory 8 there, just across the field. He's going to come and obviously 
Dig that raid, you're done. Crypex, though, is making a move. Is he going to try and dig this we fob up? The hubbit, uh... <coughs> I do apologize. <clears throat> Crypex hears. Does he hear them? Oh, SLG really needs to push down south here and get this. Get this hab up. James is going to be covering Pete because he's going to dig down the radio. He's Crypex. On that bridge. Crypex, he must know the radio is going down. James gets a lovely kill on Corporalis as he tries to push in. Oh, Crypex pushes in, gets the kill on James. They called, they're losing the hab. Peak yeah, stopped digging, is now holding the doorway. The we'll they back. must know. Oh, he's the oh he's the uh, engineer kit that has got C4 in it. So they're trying to dig the hab up. It's going to disappear in front of their eyes. Peak comes out, gets one, digging the digging up the hab. As long as. Oh, the combat engineer didn't dig the radio down. So he put C4 on the radio and he didn't dig it down. Oh, and that's a trade with Peak. Yeah, well, I've got fighting going on in this northwest corner, but this hab is quite crucial for SRG right now. This is going to be their attack hab. SRG and Spit, by the way. Look, just look at the numbers we've got Spit and SRG actually on the east. Big fight on the guys, east. Sure so they can dig this radio back up now. Dig this hab back up. They've got themselves a spawn yeah, point. They are spawning on the rally. It's East, it's, uh, Poppy's rally. He's Poppy Farm Reaper, the leader of Spit. He's going to be uh, he's going to be spawning in that building to the south. It is quite difficult to cross. What what they need to do now, and I think I can see Skills doing it. That's a nice job. So he's going to be peeking out the south here, just holding. And he sees them. Ooh, he's gone full auto. Single tap there. He gets those kills, but he's trying to full auto. He gets a kill on Poppy. Someone returns fire. Gets a hit. BMP called out. Let's have a look around map. BMP is coming south or roundabout. Does have a lot of infantry with him, so it shouldn't be too much danger. He's just going to sit in that little courtyard just southeast of the roundabout. All hub is up. Enemy capping 8, 2. Enemy hub spotted. Copy. So enemies are capping 8. Once they get people up on this hab, though, they should start capping back. We have a, I'm just going to look at the sort of player positions and spit. They're on the east side, but they really need to be in 9. They can cap 9 right now. We've only got 2 players. Yeah, SRG are calling out. And now they fold in. They collapse on 9 and they are starting to cap 9. They do have this backup hab. Radio just to the north. Radio's in a bit of a weird position, actually. And Spitter advancing fast on this hab. Let's see if we can go on board. East Poppy Farm Reaper. Melmo goes... Melmo down? I think he is. They've smoked this entrance. Oh, no. Melmo's there. <laughs> Jumps and gets a kill on Hayden. They've called one guy on the radio. Poppy's going to be flanking this side. Hab is disabled, by the way. Ooh, but I'm not sure who that was. I had a little bit of lag there, but I think it was Corporalis just in that shed. Getting a kill on Poppy on East Poppy Farm Reaper. Hab is enabled as the Trout comes in. Let's have a look at what this BMP is doing. As SRG have found this hab. So SRG have been on this hab. May pushes in. Ooh, a little bit of a potato, but he gets the kill. He's going to run away before Jake comes around the corner. They do have the BMP here to protect the radio. Jake's going to come around the corner. Does he spot him? Ooh! Round, round the tree they go. That's majority of the infantry cleared out, I believe, on that hab. No one else there. The focus just seems to be in, in hexagon 9 and 8 right now. 10 is... Still neutral. I think it's been neutral all game. And they're still pushing in. They really need to get some people up in these buildings. Some optics just in these buildings to catch Poppy's squad just spawning on this. Hab is disabled again. So they know... Oh, that's a good kill. And James just holding that car. That's a nice position. And Peak, who I believe is the combat engineer. He's going to get straight on the radio. If he goes in, he's going to go for the digs first. It's only been a few minutes. There's no need to, to rush. That's enough yeah, digs to get it down. C4 on it, and he should get it. They've lost a lot already. They lost two But if he has ammo, uh, the fact he's still digging, I don't think that combat engineer has ammo. No backup rallies close here, by the way. Like, personally, if they should have backup rallies just in these northern buildings here just to protect this protect this fob. Only walks alive. 
He's gonna be gonna go in and try and kill the digger. Kills the digger. Totally ten, capped by SRG and no no spit presence in this area. So there's your line. That's your line. So they got eight nine. I'm not sh sure if they're really in a position to uh, this. Ra this hab, by the way, is disabled simply due to the. The radio being so low, Poppy's going to go inside the hab, see there's no one spawning on it. Do have a couple of SRG lurkers, obviously capped this 10. Buddy rally is available for you, I'm going to try to rescue the lodgy. It's a little bit of a fight here in the apartments. Zoom over, the main battle still seems to be happening on the east now, as SRG have pushed a lot of forces east. On rallies, and obviously the hab that they have here, just... Quickly open my map. And this hab and it's easier to fight over for the yeast right now because they can get numbers over there. Just rescuing the lodgy. That's up. Get the resources maybe back in the in the lodge. Triple bite here, by the way. Is underneath Geordie. I don't think Geordie hears him, does he? Goes up another flight. Triple bite's gonna be running in. He must hear him because he's sprinting. Triple bite trying to clear all rooms. Comes around. Geordie yeah, looks. Oh, that's a weird, weird bit of a. Uh, triple bite calls the trade. And he is correct. It looks like, by the way, SRG are moving into castle to try and move on this hab. We have a hat kit. Ooh, not sure what's going on here. Ooh, we have a combat engineer near the. Um, I'm not sure where he got killed from there. It was just handy, just below actually. Combat engineer moving towards the BMP. And they still got yeah, we're closing them in on the middle now. They still haven't got rid of this hab. The radio is back up. Hab is spawnable, and that's a big mistake from Spit. They had con complete control of this. They had complete control of this. Nobody no rallies except for these two here. Enemy at the radio at the northern radio um, at the northern Ooh, and Spit have found that radio. Spit have found that radio in the north, which has that hab on five. So this is their only hab now. They are capping nine back. They've got nine back. Eight is being capped back as well. Big spawns in on the hab by the looks of it. Nice spread coming down this eastern side. Trying to keep control of ten. North radio's down. That northern radio goes down. You can hear on squad lead comms. Is that enemy radio? No, our radio is down in the northern side. Marking. Cannon Riot's going to be throwing the smokes. Throwing the smokes. And they're retreating. Spit are retreating, by the way. Spit are retreating back into... Um, back into train yard. Train station, rather. Kill you get to kill on walks as you try to cross the road. Smoke goes out. Ooh, laters. I'm not sure who that was. Can't even really see as... Coyote was doing a great job. We got quite a lot of infantry trying to run down this road, down this path. And Coyote's holding them out right now. Poppy does have this rally along with another to the south of the hab. Quick look at your kills and your scores. 282 tickets for SRG to 250 kills and 98 for SRG and 82 for Spit. So SRG currently out shooting Spit. And what I've noticed in this in territory control, and I didn't really know until I watched a few games that out shooting your enemy really just is is the only way to go about winning. It literally is. You can you can try, you know, your nice timings at the start of the game, but it's a it's a long round in territory control, and you literally, you know, you you're forced to move in sort of one direction and to and to to be able to move in that one direction. Uh, looks like FX Killer is going to wipe this rally in a second. But to move in that one direction, you simply have to outshoot the enemy. Box of demons going down. Offensive squad leader. He's going to dip in the alley. To hear that coming back, have a little peek. He went down to Burek with zero health. FX Killer still hasn't wiped this rally. He's taking his time. And oh, when he goes down, just before the rally goes down. Bex trades that out, and it looks like Steve Jobs got a kill on Bex. Gets another kill on Handy through the bushes. Let's have a quick look at this hat. The hat looks safe now. And SRG advancing nicely. They did cap 8 in the meantime, so 11 and 12 is that choke point. 
The Americans are bleeding one ticket a second. So like I said, this choke point, you're going to bleed them one ticket, ticket a second. So although they're up in tickets right now, 268, 242, they are, they are bleeding the tickets. And Melmo has cleared both these rallies, by the way. So that's a big move, big move. Rally has moved further south. Just see over the top of that building. We have another rally for SRG over on the east. Jake's going to go and XT are going to respond to that. Coyote still holding this building nice, and they haven't been able to advance from this corner, as you can just see from the dead bodies. Coyote has held this. The issue is that's in 11. They probably probably need to start advancing, but like I said, the spit can be comfortable now and just get those trades, and eventually the tickets will, will swing in their favor, but I don't imagine that's Poppy's tactic right now. This rally eventually goes down that we've seen just in this gully, as we call it. It's going to come around the corner. And get a twofer. Oh. Get a twofer as they're hiding in the shed. Random crewman there. Let's have a look where the... Um... Uh, I'm not sure where... Hub is blocked. Our hub is blocked. Where the BMP is or if it went Shed down. We have a random transport up here with a mine mark. Skill, see if you can just cover BMP the isn't in main. It looks like it's gone down at some point. So... I didn't catch that, but the Russian BMP is uh, Gonski's. We did see it on that bridge with that combat engineer. I'm just going to quickly check that, actually. Yeah, this is where it was, and the combat engineer snuck up on it, and that's its, uh, that's its dead corpse. So SRG and the BRDM are going to flank round. Mortars going up, do I see? Do I see mortars going up? So mortars going up now. That hab is in the open, and I imagine... Uh, Petkovic there is just going to drop uh, those mortars many. straight uh, on the hab in Geneva Apartments. And SRG is slowly moving south. You see, they're just out shooting them. The line is advancing slowly south. Now, if I, get one squad, I do, I do have a flanking there, squad here from uh, Spit who are obviously targeting that hab. Yeah, mortars are slightly missing, just hitting on the roof. They are projectiles, by the way, so they do come in at this angle that, that we're looking at. And that's a direct hit on the hab, I believe. Hit the ammo crate, at least. Melmo's going to jump inside. He's going to brave trying to get up. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. Google, man. They know infantry are close. I think what, what um, SRG have done is they've given up a little bit of this east side in favor of trying to flank. Just down this south is squad five. As you can see here, SRG getting closer to this hab as well. I think that's where we're going to scoop over next. Down, Some water's back. going down on uh, SRG's fob right now. So Corporalis and Wax are going to be working this northern compart, uh, this northern um, to, uh, apartment north building north rather. Havoc's, Havoc's in there. Ooh, and Corporalis oh. comes down and gets a kill. As Havoc was looking at uh, looking at Wax, they do have infantry in the south as well. We've just seen they use that BRDM or the MRAP rather to get a rally down. They're going to start flanking, and the, the south is completely open right now in their hab, and they're all looking north as the, as as they would be. But you need that you need that protection on your on your main hab effectively and that's what this is right now for spit this is their this is their main attack hab they don't have any others on the map they're stacking up on this building we've got three here nap frog and mayo i'm just gonna call him mayo radio radio in the building one guy in the mortar xt going out to the southwest right now so that the mortars actually killed that fob. Oh, someone shot there. They killed XT. I don't think Petkovic realized. He's going to go down seven, now. Eight, fob is disabled. Is that a fob coming back up? It's got seven. And they can... Oh, look what oh, cool. they did. Cleverly. They blocked access to the radio by the hab in the hope that... It'll give them enough time to basically uh, dig down this hab. But they do have a combat engineer with them. And they, he's dug it down already. He's going to crawl in as he gets straight on the rails. Nice work. Sending that combat engineer with that squad specifically to target this hab. The two 30 mils are going to come in. They should be able to kill them. I don't know if they can save it as the combat engineer comes in. He's going to send in the HE. 
I'm not sure if he's got a, an angle. Which... Ooh, we get to kill a gnat through the wall, but Frog peeks out. He's dug that down. He has put his C4 on it. Ooh, Cords is, uh, Cords is... BTR has just been engined as well. He smoked in front of him. He's going to try and crawl for that smoke and escape. That's the radio gun. Great work from that squad. That's fucking brilliant, by the way. Absolutely lovely. Done right as well. Straight on it. Three men. Enemies attacking up from west. Ooh, on the opposite end as well. Spear coming in numbers here. Poppy squad again. So they're going to be coming in. This fob is still enabled right now. Little goat pushing in. Get to kill on Scales, who's just trying to crawl and hide in the bush there. Still enabled. A little goat gun has gone down. Ooh. Puddle gets the kill on Poppy. Poppy did not expect someone to come from his north there. A couple of his squad died trying to cross the road as well, by the looks of it. So, and Jacket's down as well. So, Spit have put a fob. I didn't see this, but they've put a fob just out to the west. Probably to try and attack mainly this hab and then obviously 10 and 8. DK is but... uh, clearing the western side of Geneva. Oh, and what else did... So we had the 14.5 out, squad 5. I'm not sure if this Logi is Geneva Russian or not, but they've stopped the Logi of some kind. So they're going to try Can and pick vehicle, each other. Oh, they didn't. Like updates, please. That's clear. I thought the radio was dug down. That's another vehicle down, by the way. Nice. That's another 30 mil down. Those 30 mils are they're just going in areas right now where um, they haven't got infantry support. And obviously, they rushed in to try and save the radio. It was too late. They should have just disappeared straight away, but they got stuck, got engined. And that's what you want to do as a lap. Go straight for that engine. Get them stuck. Uh, we are not copying 12 anymore. They're not capping 12, 12, just due to the numbers that Spit have got in, the, in train team. station. I think they should probably go for a, a train station hab right now. Have a look to see if there's any lodgies on the map. They have one here. I believe this is one of their lodgies, by the way. Uh, squad one, you can pull back They're also in. going for this 14.5. 30 mils coming sure. in. Again. I think we need SRG, by the way, using the hardly any vehicles. They used that one striker at the start. Okay. No uh, one's brought out vehicles since. No. And yeah, Raptor goes down to Box of Demons. Let's zoom over to this hab. This is where the main action seems to be right now. Is Poppy's going to try and push it again. Going more north this time. You just see him wrapping north. He needs to be fast, though. Drops a rally in just the north of Hospital. And SRG have pushed out west, believing that that's well. where they're coming from. So Poppy's in a nice move. Got himself a rally down. And it is open, as we can see. The way Poppy's rapping, it is open on that hab. As SRG mainly pushed out west, as that's where they come from that time. And they pushed, they pushed quite a lot out west as well. Losing 12. Yeah, we have many contacts inside the train station. I, as I this is happening, though. Know. The whole team, I guess. 13 is being capped. And they could just steamroll down here. Now Spit are trying to react to it, wrap round to 13, but they could they could potentially steamroll. Poppy seems to be just pushing on his own here, by the way. As skills in this lodge he eventually goes down. That's a couple of tickets if they choose to kill it, or they could immobilize it. Just hit content. Uh content. <laughs> Squad League comms just call out there that uh that enemies are an old hospital. 13, been neutralized. 13 neutral. And this squad here now reacted to that, and they're going to start pushing north. Poppy's just waiting on his Good squad, I believe. Probably waiting on another rally as well, and then push straight down. But nice nice by uh, Grivis here. He's going to push out north. Obviously, okay, after hearing that info, he's going to see them cross the road as well. Goes for East Poppy Farm Reaper. He goes, oh, he killed him. He killed him through the Hesco block. And that is allowed, by the way. If, if they are, Most are clipping from through it, you are allowed to kill them. Little goat goes down. Only the turret alive. He gets to kill and save you out to the west. We are not ping 13 anymore. It does a little help. Let's have a look at 13. Yeah, so that squad did react. Pushed around. There's infantry on it. I don't know where the radio Stop the cap on 13. The troop okay, pushing in. He's on his own on the hab. He's not going to be able to do much damage.
That was a crucial okay, little move there from Grivis. Oh, yeah, that was unlucky. There was a zipper here on the hub. Uh, zipper was on the hub. Time. That was unlucky, but yeah, that, that that little bit of movement there from Grivis, just recognizing that they're an old hospital. He just filled that gap north of the hub, caught that squad, Poppy squad, trying to run from the north, and uh, yeah, that that attack has completely gone down. I've seen a lot of SRG still on this eastern side. That seems to be the place they're working. A lot of them in the south as well. I just seen. Yeah, they're on they're on a hab. It's just been placed to the south. By the looks of it. I'm gonna zoom down there. A lot of dead over there already. Got the full squad here moving on a hab by the looks of it. Counting quite a lot of SRG. Oh shit, south. Yep. He's in the in the in the fucking garage. Right, to the left side. That, on the helmet. Is he dead? Nope. Ooh. He's on radio, on radio. Right side. Nice kill from Frog. Oh, no Nap going yeah, in, making sure. Okay. That's another free radio. Yeah, Ticket to 211 to 123. He kills a 203 to Spitz 139. So like I said, out shooting them. The and the current hexes are showing it as they're working down this east side. We still have this squad. We don't have any rallies, by the way. Enemy, uh, I'm not sure where the uh, rallies are. On the west, uh, western side of, uh, Geneva Still not seeing another fob for, for Spit. The only fob they've okay. got is out to the west. Squad 1 and 4 have reacted to it, so they're not really advancing anymore. Squad 1 and 4 Shot doing the right the thing, the taking the fight away from the Shot enemy's Shot objective, Shot and the cur currently the enemy's them. objective from this hab is, is this hab. So they've took that fight away. Ones and twos of spit just peeking north a train station, but other than that, we got 30 mils in action now. Hopefully, they're going to do a lot of better. Corporation and saliva. Saliva's already dead. He's playing dead. Look. Is he playing dead? No, he wasn't. He's going to bandage saliva anyway. He could wipe a rally here if he goes on this eastern road. Just wipe 30. that rally, Cripex. He's lagged out. <laughs> so you'll see Cripex disconnect in the top left-hand corner in a second. And he was a lat as well. So that, that 30 mil could have been in trouble. And like I said again, the 30 mil, it's okay at the moment. Only one guy, so we're not going to really go over there. He is the, uh, he is the combat engineer. But 30 mil shouldn't really advance any far north now as it hasn't got infantry cover. It's not got infantry around him. He's not really aware of what's happening north of him. SRG, we've got 12 neutralized. Can you Can't cap 13 anyone? anymore. Spit are actually capping 12. The peak goes down, by the way, just on that hab. Lots on this fight is really happening over to the west of this hab. And as this is happening, somehow, these couple of squads of spit are keeping control. And they're going to cap 12, get that one ticket bleed again, which is what they really need right now as the tickets are 193 to 100. Squad leaders talking over each other. No one really close to this hab. They're just taking control north of train right now, fighting this squad. It's just in the gully. It's a nice rock to play behind this, by the way. Really annoying to kill this guy. Nate goes out, doesn't get the kill. <laughs> he looks at the nade. Box of demons goes down. The trade by the looks of it to God sign. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna have a drink of my coffee after that. Looks like a couple of spit did try and cross the road. They went down. Did they see that guy? I think they did. He's gone prone. Busting nuts is going to have a word of him. He has, he has that word. And he calls directly on me. 30 minutes down, just right. 30 mil down. Marking any possible red. To the MRAP. To the MRAP. They're losing vehicles everywhere. 
to M wraps and lats. To M wraps and lats and that's simple map control. They're going in areas where they don't have control of and they have a looks like they have a couple of lats in here. Yeah, they do. They have a combat engineer and a lat. And this squad really doing work. Squad six is the squad we've seen pushing on this hab over here earlier and getting that down. And they're really doing work. Books and silver in this building. Let's have a look at this western fight on the hab. So they are getting a little bit closer now. The line has fallen. The fight was happening here earlier and it's now happening maybe 50 meters, but it just shows that they are slowly winning the fight. But they are throwing a lot of numbers at it also. Mr. Matt has got a nice position. Maybe they have tickets Just holding now, these so windows. Don't, uh, you know, waste tickets. Very ambitious. Yeah, don't give up. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's working fine now. Oh, Ooh, he's back. firing from the hip and getting kills as well. Gets maybe killing Kodiak as well. We've just lost a lot of spawns though. I think that may be the issue. Yeah, maybe it's it. Oh, Spit. In the time that Spit far, lost so three tickets. Uh, in the time that Spit lost nearly 50 tickets, SRG lost three. Three tickets to 50. Yeah, a lot of enemies on that I am right in thinking that was 183, aren't I? Because that that was 100 before. That's since I'm not sure where those tickets are gone. I imagine on the hab in the south, the 30 mil would have been 10. That's uh, that's not good. James, you can see a nice kill on Raptor. And they're probably having to give up as well because I'm not seeing them really sort of play together. I imagine, let's have a look at the revive. Wow. Wow. 119 revives to 66. And that just tells me SRG are playing together. They're playing closer. They're out killing them. That's insane, by the way. That's insane. Shout out to the medics, by the way. Oh, look at this. Not only the medics, but... Others are picking up Shut the slack as well. Feelings. Everyone's got a bandage. Yeah, I will help you. Lost 11 again. They did lose 11. So this squad, 1, 2, and 5. They are playing nice. Now, nice and closer together. They can do something here. But that is a big open gap they have to push towards this hab, which is obviously their next objective after 11, between 10 and 8. No ticket lead, by the way, now. Still have control of the train station. I would have liked them to put a hab here, actually. Because they've had a lot of control of this. And they could have used this to fight off. I imagine all this squad here, by the way, have no ammo. Have no lats, no grenades, no the smokes. Clear, they've guys. used them all. Whereas SRG, well, judging by the amount of vehicles we're seeing downed. And the amount of revives they're getting. They're clearly, they're clearly restocking up on their ammo. I'm not sure is anyone doing lodgy runs. I'm not seeing any. Dorfer goes down. They're really holding this gully nice. I was playing this scrim, actually. And I'm just going to zoom over this side so you can see. And we were really struggling. It was against Spit, actually. It was against Spit. So I'm playing this scrim, and we were trying to push this area, and Spit were controlling... Just those apartment buildings and train, and we couldn't get in there. So what we did is we held, we stopped. We got a few people in these buildings. We got a few people in the gully, and we managed. We put a lot of a lot of the squad towards here, cleared these buildings out, and then we let we let them advance on us, get those kills. So you know, if you think if you get if you get these kills here, eventually they have to reset. I think their hub was over here. They have to reset here, and that's ground that you can make up once you get those kills. So you get the kills, you sense that it's now, you've got the time, the, the chance to maneuver forward without much of a fight anymore. And that's what you do. They've reset back to their hab, and you can push forward, and that's that's squad, basically. That's that's what it's all about. I'm gonna, there's going to be a lot of memes about me like talking about stuff like this, but I don't care. Nice kill by Handy on Havoc. I don't know. I'm all Spit still fighting off this hab here. They, should, they could really do with getting in 10 as well, just to save the tickets a bit. Just to get that one ticket bleed. Tickets 151 to 32. So quite similar. Quite similar ticket loss right now for both teams. 
What do I Trying say? To assist at 12. SRG, do you have numbers out? We're only seeing a couple of spit guys yeah, in these buildings. Trips. James out there playing on his own yeah, with cool. Poppy and Jacket. We have seen Poppy advance well, but every time I've seen Poppy advance well, I haven't seen his squad with him. His squad are always lacking behind. He's going to PM me later and say, oh, you, oh, you've seen it too? <laughs> They're pinned very central at the moment. The problem is if we stop spreading out. He's right. They are pinned all around here. The majority of spit we're seeing here. We've got two squad leaders, Poppy and James. They're going to be going north. Still got a couple of guys in the East. 12 is being contested. They could get numbers in here, but again, squad six coming in from behind, just being annoying. You've nicely surrounded train. That's good. Forcing you to react to that. Righteous Almond has got no yeah, health. Just, I, I think it was Puddle yeah, Stamper, maybe, or he, he, uh, he shot Oni 12 is gonna be just in the distance. He's got support with him. It's much a couple of guys spawning in. SRG is slowly getting rid of these guys on the uh, western side of their hab. Puddle, do you have any better idea for the radio? Or is that? Bless you. Havoc's back up. Gonna revive. Those two are still... Someone is GLing these guys in the windows. These are excellent positions. But as soon as a GL knows about you, they're not anymore. These two guys still hold in this gully. Shout out to Fabius and Handy. Let's have a quick look. Nice numbers. Quick scroll down so you can see your kills. James doing some work. Hayden. Hayden's looks like he's been pushing, dying a lot. I'm sorry, by the way, SRG. I did make a squad in the middle of yours, so that's my bad. Quick scan up. I don't really know where to focus right now because there seem to be everything seems to be slowing down, especially on the spit side. And SRG are really wary of tickets for some reason already. I think, I think they feel it's closer than what it is, um, due to spit having the majority of the territories for most of the game. But um, it's it's heavily heavily favoured towards them right now in regards to tickets. Spit have lost control of the train station a little bit. Just see uh, Vexy Bungie pushing in. They've killed everyone in there, actually. They have, Good work on 12. Good work on 12. They have no control of the train, and they've took 12. Wait, see a train. squad spawn in 7. They're going to try and react to all that 12. They could get 15 Maybe as well. Lots of infantry. Yeah, it'll, it'll 11 is where they're all spawning in right now. We'd... Enemy radio's down west. Radio's down west. Ooh. Nice. Good job, man. Good job. Squad 5, I'm not sure who was the combat engineer, but they got that radio down and spit. Have no habs right now. All working off rallies. That's a great call. Kind of yeah. 11, that is, rather. 10. There's the odd, but 11 is what they're holding on to, and they're actually might be losing it because this this infantry it's is just pushing northwest to train. Next behind you. Second trap. Rap is going to be pushing same. west, finding the majority of the spit infantry. Just gets caught Most a little bit in the open. Enemies are coming from. Oh, yeah. Leroy yeah. kills him. Yeah, enemies are coming from. Roger that. Enemy combat trying to get off. Look at squad two, six, and three right now advancing into fifteen. It's probably a new fault somewhere. Tickets 131 to 7. Yeah, very possible. Spit doing a good job of not lose. Um, SRG, sorry, doing a very good job of just not losing many tickets in comparison to Spit. And there's no ticket bleed. There's no ticket bleed right now. Still getting you seem to be out shooting them 274 to 216. Shit, copy that. Copy survives. Beautiful. The issue is now, although they're advancing south, they're still trying to protect their hab. But they are trying to work here, and they're playing, they're playing the cap game now as 9 are going to move into 17. They need one more in 16 to start capping. I think 6 is going to go into that. 6 tickets left. Remember, you don't gain tickets from getting those territories. You just 
increase your chance of a ticket bleed. Ooh, Zed going down to Josh. Capping 17. Just in the distance. Capping 17. 122 to five tickets. And uh, they've stopped giving... They've, they're not giving up anymore. A spit. We've seen a lot of spit down. They're not giving up. They're trying to reserve all the tickets they can. Trying to bleed SRG down. James is on his own trying to work on this hab. Looks like he's done damage. Hayden was with him. Just hear that shot behind him. The savior doesn't go down. Yes, he gets killed from. I'm not sure who that is. Someone with an MG. James goes down with him. I don't think I can see a spit well, player alive right now. I can see Geordie actually in the distance. Jake's in this building. Leo Reg. Leo Reg, rather. As you can see. SRG just dotting the right amounts of infantry across the hexes just to be able to cap. Judy's one of those people alive. He's going to go prone. He hears them in that building. Okay. That's your first round. 118 tickets to SRG. Hold on, hold on. GG. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Quick scroll up your skills. We will have a second round. It will be on a different server, so expect a about a 10-minute break right now. Uh, and then we'll come back for round two. And, uh, yeah, so very impressed by SRG there. Very impressed. I didn't think – I thought it'd be closer than that. Got a lot. I'm not going to lie. I thought it'd be way closer than that. But I'll be uh, back in approximately 10 minutes. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much.
also tragedy when we're in too deep and you and i we got history
Finally, we get round to starting round two. So this is uh, Spit versus SRG. SRG winning the first round by 118 tickets. For those who ask in chat, is this the first round or second round? Tell them a second round and tell them to and do exclamation mark score. That'll give them the first round score. So we swap sides. For those who don't know, we swap sides. Same layer, same tricks. And for those who just joined us, we're playing Nava Territory Control version one. 
Yeah, live, I believe. Yeah, the content shed. Let's switch over to the game. Boop. Should pop up for you in a second. Go straight into admin camp. So this is your layer. I got no. I could hear squad lead comms last time. So like I said earlier, Russia do get to the choke point here. So if Russia control this choke point there, these two territories here, they uh, they start bleeding the enemy team one ticket a minute. And they can get to this choke point very quickly. We've seen Spit put a hab down the here last time. Got taken out. And SRG put their hab in Geneva Apartments. Let's have a quick zoom over. Have a look what vehicles were taken out. We're going to be joining Spit side on their rollout this time. SRG uh, doing really well last round. Out fragging um, Spit. But most importantly, that the revives were insane. They had so many revives, and it, I think that tells its own story in terms of they just they were just playing closer together. So they're going to be taking out the Bradley. We didn't see uh, we didn't see SRG take out the Bradley. They took out one striker at the start of the round, traded with a thirty mil, and didn't bring out another vehicle other than MRAPs and Lats and the MRAPs basically killed the vehicles. The Lats would get them down health, and the MRAP would be hovering on the south part of the map. Just here and picking off the 30 mil as it tried to return to base. And Spit really didn't have a hab that, that the, the 30 mils could go to and repair. So they were they were forced to go to main. And yeah, it's, it's not really good. So they're going to be taking out nearly every single vehicle apart from one logistics truck. On the opposite end, they're going to be taking out one 30 mil, one BRDM, and three Lodgies leaving... Uh, yeah, leaving a 30 mil, a 14.5 BTR, and the BMP. So just have a quick look at where the arrows are on the map, and Spear are already going aggressive. They're gonna go, they're gonna go north side, I imagine, put down a hab there. But they're going aggressive south side of train, and also east side of castle. That's Check the so. map, on the map. I mean, we're, we're going to the intersection. Uh, I think it's number f 10? Oh, yeah, 10. I, rem I remember that intersection. Yeah, yeah, basically that. I'm talking about this intersection here. That's a fun place to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Bradley, though. I love this thing, man. It's so sexy. You are, if you don't have squad, by the way, and you are interested in the game squad, countdown, 10 seconds left-ish. Uh, do exclamation mark squad, that'll take you to the uh, to the Steam page. And the rollout is happening. Bradley's going to go south along with the MRAP. Everything else, Lodgy's MRAP striker, strikers, rather. They're going to be going north side. Nobody expects we have a BRDM Lodgy going north side, and two Lodgies and a 30 mil going west out of Maine. We can just need to see, just from where Spit placed their movement markers, just how aggressive they are because it looks insanely aggressive, and the timing doesn't favor them. As you can see, there's already vehicles on where they put their move markers, just. Just in the middle of the bottom right of the map there, you can see I'm just going to scoot over to this. SRG, they're going to be dropping out lots of infantry. South side of railway. They're firing off. They're not really hitting anything. I'm not sure what they're hitting. So I think they're just firing off maybe to see if they can catch something just on the roundabout. We have seen 30 mils and this striker is going to see... So many infantry to the south. Oh, if he would have stayed, although actually underneath the bridge, smart by SRG. Yeah, striker is aggressive. It's aggressive. Let's come straight in. Hit one kill. Infantry jumps out. They're not going to be able to get a rally down. Oh, Saliva and Oliver run past each other. I think Saliva was ready. Yes, yeah, she gets the trade with Jake. Ratatatata by Coyote. Doesn't get the kill. He gets one, I think, on the bridge. Striker is already out of there. This infantry from Spit, the majority of them, two of them are dead. They got one alive in the building. 
Let's quickly open the map to see what's going on. The other side, lots of infantry focused here. Bradley rolling up on that intersection. Uh, Spit can take control of these apartments. This is good. Hab is very deep for SRG. They don't have to make the moves, and I don't really blame them for having such a such a southerly Hab. XT goes down, but Zed jumps in his place. Spider's going to go down to Mr. Matt on the corner. Ooh, it's a bit a bit as well. Where's the Hab going? The Hab is going Geneva Apartments for Spit. Yep. We have noticed lots of them underneath the bridge. Bradley is going to be holding just this. I think he's holding just this lane here, as you can see. He's going to have a nice Timo, is there any way some sort of angle through the, the tree to that eastern road. But the numbers favor SRG just in the area we're looking at right now, from what I can see on the map. We do have another radio going up, so that's two. Two for SRG. We have one here. Is the Hab going to go down? The Hab's going to go down the south side of the building. One thing with that Hab is easily blocked by people sitting in buildings. And as, from what I can see right now, Spit are capable of that. Spit do have numbers to the north, and they can do that. Although the guy's out on the west here. I don't like where this Bradley is, by the way. I don't like where this Bradley is. There's no lats near it. It's it's very much on its own right now. It, I mean, personally, I would you know sit it up. Yeah, it looks like they've definitely got a spawn up to the south of Geneva. Uh, they don't really have. I'm looking around. I don't see a spawn. I see one rally in the distance. SRG controlling the east side. They've let Spit sort of sneak through this gap onto eleven. Uh, through train, as you can see, squad three. They're just going to be moving south. Ooh, squad four, Poppy squad. I've bounced straight on this radio. Karras is in the lodgy, so they know something's happening here. Oh, look at the radio. We're on the, we're on the top of the fucking train. I love it. So he kills the lodgy driver. Or trades with the lodgy driver, by the looks of it. Radio's on me. Found that radio. The Hab is south of, south of train, by the way. Hab's a little bit close to the other Hab. I'm not sure the idea there. And by the way, although this looks smart, you get one vehicle. If that Bradley comes and decides to, you know, come and have a look down here, he annihilates that radio in seconds. So although it's cool and it's funny and it's and it's it's an interesting, different idea, it's it's very visible. You'll be mortared as well, actually. Ooh, Poppy's already calling it out, actually. So Poppy's already Poppy's already calling out that mortar, and he can mortar that radio. Now we're seeing. All right, we're gonna hit it with a lat, and then they're gonna have to climb up. We're just gonna camp it. Ooh, is that what I just heard? Should we build a hab up? Is that what I just heard? A lat? Um, yes. Lat hitting the radio? I don't think so. They do have that rally. That rally's nice, by the way, to defend that radio. Very smartly done. They cannot spawn. Josh. I think. They cannot spawn. Uh, yes, they can. Start pushing. Hab is still rounds. up. Josh gets a kill on... I'm not sure who that was. Oh, no, he doesn't. Did he? Mortars. Did someone just disappear? Oh, there he is. Did Poppy get his rally down to the south? No, he didn't. Little goat. I'm just going to quickly... Little goat and Josh are like running around each other here. They're pushing our half to the north. Good kill. Well, little goat, he heard him. He heard him. We're going to push a couple more infantry down as well, just to protect this radio. Spit have sort of control of the north side. Lines are as I'd expect them to be. They don't know hey, that this have exists yet. This radio. SRG have a squad flanking north onto this radio, so they, we do have a squad here protecting it. I'll say oh, a squad. A couple of individuals. No, we don't have any Bradley's getting pushed by lots of SRG right now. I'm not sure if any of these have LETs L -E or hat kits. Offensive, offensive, uh, it's tracked. It's tracked. I think you hear Dominus there. There, yeah, they're getting pushed by lots of inventory, and they need to they need to get that thing fixed. It takes another lap, it takes an engine shot. 
engine shot. You can just see that Puma, what looks like sandbags, just spurting up in the air and the, the white trails of smoke. That's an engine shot. It's one that Bradley, the engine, is in the front. BTRs, the engine's in the rear. Striker, it's front right as you as you as you are in the striker. So SRG are gonna try and con take control of these buildings, probably in the name of protecting their hab on the south side, but spitter spit stacking up on the north side. And I'm hearing. Uh, what Spit tried to do is use this open top MRAP to shoot the radio. But he got shot, and it's not disabled. It's still up, as far as I can see. They should have used that. They should have used the Crow MRAP to do that. So the guy just got shot straight out, but Spit are stacking up on these buildings now. They killed uh, Crypex in the west in the building. They have great control. Things would be even more interesting if they knew about this hab. They don't as of yet. But they are stacking up here. SRG, look like they died to the north Sick. here. Yep. Hab marked, hab marked, hab marked. Follow Bradley, by the way, in the meantime, okay. has been deleted. We did miss that, but you can just see it on fire just to your left. SRG doing a good job of pushing out the lats and hats to kill that thing. Again, it was just operating in an area that wasn't really safe for it. It wasn't, it wasn't right that it was there. Ooh, and Dorfer taking out. He has seen the hab, and Petrovic speaks around the corner. Woo! Felix! There are hands on my stage. There we go. Now it's disabled. So, they, so I'm not sure who it's disabled by right now. Is it this hab? I need a bandage, Dad. No, it's not a hab. It's the just, it's just infantry. This hab is enabled. The China. It's on its last stage, by the way, this hab. So this could be trouble for SRG. This could be trouble. He's going to jump back in the vehicle. He's going to drive off again because he's getting shot. Another lat hit on the radio from Jacket. That hab is still up, though. Is it bugged? I mean, sh surely it should be down. Ooh, little goat going down. They can't spawn. They can't spawn the... We gotta burn these rallies. They can, though. They are spawning. I think that's bugged, by the way. I think SRG are getting lucky here with a bug because they are spawning on it. And as far as I'm concerned, that radio should not be letting them spawn in. We got the radio on South 11. We got the radio. Oh, nice. That's very nice from, from Spit. That's what they want. The radio is still up. So it's crack. Crack on the radio. They have full control of it right now. Spitter pushing in. They're doing the right thing here. They need to advance. They haven't advanced into 12 yet, but 11 they're getting through. 11 they are getting through. We need to get 12, boys. 12. 12 is that one. They're just looking at there. Radio is not dead as far as I'm concerned. Watch out, there's infantry. Does he have? Oh, he had C4 in it. Oh, I'm not sure who that was. Melmo just peeked in and just killed like three or four. He's peeking his side. Spy just tries to get a kill on him. He is getting shot though, missing. He finally goes down. They can revive those guys. They are nicely in cover. Let's have a look what the action that's happening to the northeast of 12. Too many people on yeah, Spit calling out they need to push 12. I'm not seeing much of Spit here. A couple of guys. It's not disabled. It's still, they're still spawning on it. And I think that's a bug, by the way. I think, I think Spit have gotten lucky here. It's not. No, it's sitting on the train. Camp lanes, figure out the caps, comes in full auto. Gets got signed down. You just go down to, I think it was Icarus, just peeking that window on our left hand side. Also getting shot from Ghost Rider. The SRG doing well to just control these buildings, and it's, it's annoying as fuck to try and kill these people, just lurking and hiding in these windows. As you can see, Steve probably does the right thing and is waiting for people to move to him because he can't really do anything right now. He's been shot by two people. I don't think he realizes. He gets one. It's nice, but he does go down. Does he go down? I'm not sure what that was. On a trench. SRG is still spawning on this hab. 
Spit haven't got it, and I'm not sure what's going on. They deleted the rally that they were using just to the southeast. I wish we had some kind of percentage on this radio because they shouldn't, at last stage, they shouldn't be spawning on this hab. They shouldn't be spawning on the hab. And if they didn't spawn in this hab, Spit would have so much control over the map right now. And I don't know if they've given up trying to kill it because they're confident that it's not... That, well, you can hear Poppy saying, well, they can't spawn in it. They can't spawn in it. Now we're seeing Spit move into 12. Enemies on the hab again. Squad 6 moving in. They're coming in from the other direction as well. Combat Engineer comes in. Goes down though. Good kill from that medic up there. It's been called out in all chat. I just want to change something on my stream. Sorry, give me two seconds. Oh, it's working. They probably have rallies on these four marks somewhere in this area. By the way, you're seeing that it says you're watching round one of Speaking in Tongues versus some random guys. I haven't had time to change it because I don't think Johnny actually sent me the URL for it. But this is round two you're watching. You are watching round two. SRG winning the first round by 118 tickets. trying to go back and get the radio up. I'm not sure if that's Poppy's rally. Push 12. There's oh, one more on look. my move mark. We wiped I'm not sure whose rally it is. Might be uh, an enemy Any rally actually from our side. I think we made it. Box of Demons getting that trade. And that's important because now, now they can cap 12. I don't see any SRG in 12. They can advance south. Can start working on this up? hab and try and get this radio top. again. Like There's a lot of SRG moving in on 11 I'm, right I'm now. On my rally. Zed looking down. Taking out two by the looks of it. There's one more alive. We get him as well. Well, that might be in crack actually, just on the bridge, but he goes down as well. He's going to GL, is he? Oh, to... <laughs> They're all dead, Zed. They're all dead. He's, no, he's just making sure. These buildings are vital to control apartments, by the way. They're vital to control this 11. And SRG, seeing that 12's going, they're going to try and push north. Rallies are down, trying to stop them from capping 12. No ticket bleed, by the way, right now for either side. 293 tickets, 295. Quick look at the kills. Spit, 94 to 91. So Spit, slightly favorable in terms of, uh, in terms of frags right now. Try to get a medical. Ooh, Jordy. Fuck. I was about to say, Jordy was in a good position just to stop this sudden Fuck, push coming in, but he's not anymore. Smoke. He's dead. I'm going to clear through train. Can you get me in the building? Top floor. Uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, wait. There is medic. a lot of people. Back? I'm a medic right here. Okay. I'm a medic. In the middle of the road. Not, not Let's a get chance. Kills now. My suggestion. Yes, get kills. Get kills. Get, get kills has been the call. The building. Only push when we get their radio. We should really have a Vic going to get that radio. Quartz, can you do that? Yeah, I'm looking for a striker on the map. Oh, by the way, this... This hab from Spit got disabled, but it's still up. We do have the combat engineer again going for the radio. Just north of Geneva Apartments. Spit trying to con take control of uh, train station. That's a lovely little area to fight, so we're going to go on board. The camps lanes forgets caps. So he's going to push in. We do, we don't, we don't have anyone in second level. It's nice to take control of that, that second level. Oh, we do actually. Griffiths is in the second level, holding a nice angle on the stairs. Gets camps lanes. Let's have a little look at his angle. Let's got snipes going to try and come up. Nade going out. Doesn't quite get him. He's gonna stay in the. I'm gonna cap the corner this time. Did push in on that opposite side. He's moving around east, kind of what Seven's doing. On my four mark six. Can Got snipe taking six his time. Grivis can hear him though. Yeah, I'll play this fucking building. Oh, he's gonna go for the revive after not killing him. Brave. He's gonna go for the bait shot part. on the leg. There's up here somewhere. I'm just gonna pop you up. Oh, the timing, the timing. Oh, he hears him split in. 
They're digging. What's going on offensive? By the way, that was great. So what they did there is Camp Lanes had the less health, so he pushed in first. Bit of a CSGO thing, that. Where the guy with the low health makes the entry. He goes in and makes the entry. And the guy with the more health then obviously tries to get the trade. To me, it looks like 11. Oh, 11 was close to being contested. Still no ticket bleed. Spit having 11 and a 12. Poppy calling for control of train. They're coming in from that hab still. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing a striker Straight. drive up on this bridge and just kill the radio. I don't understand why that isn't happening. You just need to get that dumb Felix, by the way. MG onto the north gets the kill on the Trut. So we had a trade there between Melmo and Dorfo. Let's go, just get the Algy down here, train, and we'll reset. Spit have a nice line here. They're not capping 11 due to these guys in the building. They have control of capping these 15. apartments. They're slowly getting control of train station. And they're capping 15 where the hab is. It looks like the majority of the infantry are reacting south to this squad. So they're coming out of the cap, allowing 15 to be capped. And I think they just realized and walked back up just to put numbers in the cap. You have a look at this squad south of the radio. Have they dug the radio back up? Yeah, radio has been finally dug back up. Spit holding, waiting, just on the south side. Do they know where the hab is, by the way? No, they marked it wrong. Ready for 11. Maybe it's a guess as to where it is, but they have marked that wrong. We can zoom out, see if anything else is happening in the map. Offensive is going back to his mortars. I think this was a mortar fob. He's going to try and hack it by the looks of it. It's going to be it. Can you even see it? Why don't he just get a, why don't he just come on, come on, next why don't he just jump onto the top of the crate? This is where we push the line up, we get the bleed. Squad seven spawning on southeast we push fourteen as well. So they're going for the dig. So and one thing they could do is they could smoke it up. Throw oh. a couple of throw a couple of smokes in it. Well, look how many are going for this radio right now. We have five all going for the radio. How do you get up on here actually? I don't actually know. See a little bit of lag there. Server health looks okay. We had bad server health in the last uh, game, by the way, so a couple of players were complaining about that. Pushing hab, pushing hab now, pushing hab now. Let's have a look. I'm in a, oh, I'll this hab went down, by the way. We didn't see that. But SRG did take the Geneva hab down. And Spit, they pr Wait, Spit need another hab, by the way. Train. You're they do the need train. another hab. Oh, we also have a uh, BRDM camping main. Ooh. <laughs> the hab is just inside this building. And it's disabled right now. It's stable right now. But as soon as cords go down, which he does, doesn't get that kill. So the hab gets re-enabled. They must know the hab is in this building just because of the pure numbers that are sort of hovering around it. I, I tell you what, I would, if Spit could take good control of this eastern side, they're really in trouble, SRG. Boom, can you come help him on this fob? Like we're, we're fucked right now. Ooh, Kodiak. Kodiak, a little bit too in the window. So he could be shot from almost anywhere there as they pick up. Come offensive, come Timo come, and come. Google need to throw nades over this wall and they'll get results. On the way. Just the kill on Puddle Stomper. Oni coming around. Raptor's there as well. Raptor gets no. the kill on Timo in the yeah, bush. Raptor is down as well to Oni. We are getting a couple of spit guys. Yeah, they can just take control of this, delete this rally here, get onto this side. They can, you know, if we have a look at their sort of angle, they can really cause issues for that hab. Tickets 251 to 232. Kills 156 to 123. So again, spit slowly increasing that gap. We've seen apartments completely empty now of SRG. But one guy out to the east and Josh T. And uh, yeah, Spit pushing all the right areas right now. And this, the really, there's a bit of desperation on this hab from SRG. Knock my mouse there. Me, you, and Boom will push. 
Yeah, yeah. SRG, how are moving back into train, though? So many guys in the uh, top floor. They just let SKLS, SKLZ sneak in. Cost Ooh, misses that kill. In my train car, in my train car. No one here. Little goat's there to help him. Nice kill. He's poppy getting the kill on Felix as well. Raptor's going to be sneaking in. Poppy pre-firing everything. Here's Raptor. Gets the kill on Raptor. And he's going to look south and there's going to be a shit ton of them. Where is Poppy gone? Where is he gone? There he is. Alright, you pick it up. Let's quit opening your map. 13 now being capped by Spit as well. 14 capped. Spit can move into 18 here as well. They're really doing a good job of just trying to horseshoe this hab right now. They're wrapping it from all sides. Pressure's getting high. Poppy's pushing in. No one's really looking this way. Defensive, you're gonna chop. You're gonna stay right on that. He's got infantry with him. Hab disabled. Felix walks past. Poppy, I hear him close. He's prone on that proxy. hill. Come here, come here. We're gonna proxy. They are proxying. I'm not in it. I'm right outside. He is right outside. Hold on, I'm pushing. Malmo is inside. Gets the kill on Malmo. What am I too fat? That is a disabled hab right now. Do you have the numbers? Squad 5 retreating into 18, but Squad 1 are already on top of them. Ooh, important, important trade that from Jacket, by the way. And Grivis is just holding. Nothing he can really do. He's on his own. He's going to try and push in on his own. Got snipers around the corner. Oh, gets two of them. Gets two of them. Poppy comes out, gets it. Take that hab down to sticks. Get on that radio. What have we seen here? I can see a vehicle. In the it's a transport truck. Crack and Timo bringing a combat engineer into play. And if we just have a look at the map. Ooh, we have a hab going down from SRG oh, north of 13. Box of Demons has seen that. They're going to start capping 13. In all this chaos, I don't think Spit have realized that uh, they're, slightly, uh, they're slightly getting hit from the back right now. So Spit and Crack are going to start digging that radio. Hill, Poppy's right. They actually have, but they do need to deal with this northern, right okay. this northern pressure. They, aren't, they, oh, they just started capping 13. Geordie okay. doing a nice job. He's going to pop back into 13 and try and stop that. We're going to see a mass spawn on this hab, by the way. Is that radio bugged? Not anymore. Clip it. It's clipped, Timo. It's clipped. C4 down that radio, and we have infantry coming in yep, on the east. Time. I imagine to attempt to save uh, that radio, but it's too late. They've all ran off, and now they're going to start heading north. I'm rotating 17. Okay. 13, still not being capped. Make sure we, we don't have three on 16. But I'd like to see, I'd like to see, well, by the way, but no team has a hab right now. No squad north. has a hab. They're all acting off rallies, Next and I think, right. Under, seven. We're going uh, under 18. Go to like 18. Go to my four marks, under 18. Roger, XC is the By the way, mark. Spit are all over this hab already and they're digging it down. So that's another couple of tickets they're getting. I think working off the rallies on pure momentum is favoring seven, Spit right now. It's really favoring Spit because they have the momentum. They're playing Cap Simulator. Poppy's, Poppy's got the, uh, the Orca to stick out and he's pointing squads in different hexagons. Atrovic is going to come around the corner. Icarus gets that kill. Frank round running in the middle of the road. I think he went for uh, Pontino, but he's behind the wall. The majority of SRG are in front of us right now. This side is completely open. 20, 20, 20. They are on 20. 19 and 22 is what's gonna is what they're gonna get right now, but SRG are pushing west from these rallies. No habs. Oh, this was actually 
So I'll have a quick look. I may have got that wrong. From what I said earlier, no, it's behind me. Yeah, it's a spit radio. I do apologize. So SRG were all over that spit radio. Um, that's That radio might be nice, by the way, because the majority of SRG are on this east side. We got spit are working on rallies and just completely capping this uh, uh, east side, sorry, and they're completely capping this west side. Squad 1 needs to start thinking about dipping into this hex and this hex at the same time. Taking those hexes. I'm not sure why it's not showing me ticket bleed right now because I would have thought there would be some kind of ticket bleed. Tickets 217 to 176. Remember round 1, we needed a 118 ticket gap for Spit to win. We have a hab going up just in the distance there. It's a little bit a little bit in the middle of nowhere, that little bit of uh, arms up in the air. Should we just put it here, Hab, by the looks of it? Akiris is still alive. Steve Jobless. Can we go finish the job? Yes, he is. Spitting up there. Able to push south here just to the pure numbers that SRG have in this area. And they're all they're all dying a little bit too, a little bit in the open as well. A little bit, you know, on these Get banks. Off the Oh, that's poor. That's poor. I mean, they can duck into these buildings here rather than, you know, trying to fight on that open mound. They have a lot more uh, cover there. Let's have a quick look over towards 22. They're going to be capping 26 and 21. I'm not sure if t if the ticket... Oh, now we're getting the ticket bleed. Minus two tickets. Fuck the hab. tickets, player check. Play cap and simulator. So once they cap 21, they can start moving into this one as well. Shield is there. I'm not sure if the shield actually does anything. If it's still bugged and it's just doesn't do anything. Spit just holding angles on these caps now. On the west side of the map. There's some shots going out. Looks like a trade there. Puddle Stomper and uh, Jake. Let's get oh, MG in a nice position Captain taking 19. out Mr. Matt. It's in a lovely position. Actually, no, it's not. He's about to get killed by Ominous. In three, two, one. Oh, ominous. Use your gun, lad. Use your gun. One, go 23. One, go 23. One to 23. <coughs> I'm pushing 23. I'm pushing One to 23. Good, good. 26 cap. 25, 21 being capped. Let's get some boys in 25 as well. Free ticket bleed right now. Free ticket bleed. Try and get the uh, admin cam in an area that's, that's happening. Comfort. Confidence is high and they're still out fragging them as well, increasing that gap only only Morning, slightly. But... We are taking 23. We came from you. We're putting markers in the way. 1 to 27, XT. 1 to 27. Oh, XT, you're gonna cap, uh, they're yeah, rolling them in rage, go down. Sorry, I missed that to Spider. They're letting them roll them right now, and this hab up here is. I mean, it's up, but nothing happened. Let's just fucking farm them and take, take the caps and farm them. Easy win if we just nice kill there by the troop getting a kill on handy he was sneaking in behind poppy squad look at this wall this wall of spit just ready to break onto these caps 25's being capped squad one's trying to hold the shield squad three have a nice rally there 23's being capped 19's being oh my 19's being contested right now 19 is basically uh what we're looking at right now basically Hayden goes, as James goes down, oh, Hayden gets the trade. It's the bridge just neutral. to the bottom left of your screen. Cut off. Go, cut him up. Territory 19, four 19 tickets. Cap. 25 being capped. Shields open, 23 20, about to be capped. 20, 20, it's a great 20, turnaround 20, 20, 20, from Spit. Hill. <laughs> Fucking ugly little cunt. <laughs> 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 Get ready for anchor. Oh, Poppy's serious on these comms. In. I like a serious East Poppy Farm Reaper. I love it. I love it. So they are just stacking up now. 27 was being capped. 25 still being capped. 29 is there for the opening as well. Ticket bleed is 5 right now. Tickets are 165 to 122. So remember, they can't go, they can't go past 118 tickets. As soon as it goes past 118, it's game over. Yeah, they're getting in from our point of thinking. We need 
No vehicles on the map, by the way. Just want to point that out. No vehicles. All vehicles. Strikers, BTRs, BMPs, Bradleys, all left in main right now. This is a, a rally infantry game. The cap in 29. The cap in 28. Ooh, six ticket bleed right now. Six ticket bleed. I have no idea where to look. I think the map is the only thing we can look at. And we have a big, big spawn. Big buddy rally on 27. So they're going to start capping 27 back. I imagine just to the pure numbers they got. Squad 1 are going to get a surprise. Just by the sheer amount of infantry down to the south as Jacket goes down. Going to trade with Josh T. Should have said that like multiple times. Do you have the angles here just to hold and watch them through these entrances? No one watching the uh, east side exit though, which is what the squads are looking to peek out. Frank, you speak. They're capping 28? Sorry, it? No, that's yeah, we're taking, they're taking it. For those of you who just joined us, thank you very much, Johnny. For those of you who just joined us, SRG won the first round by 180 tickets. But if we look at the map right now, Spit have all the control. They need to win by 118 tickets. And they have lots of territory right now. We have no habs on the map. No vehicles on the map. It's all infantry. And they're pushing towards 29. They need more numbers in 29. They're capping 28. They're capping 20 as well. Six ticket bleed. They're all in my Marta. And it's 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 a fight. <laughs> Just the, this has been mental. Righteous Almond. Rata ta 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 with the MG. Shooting east. Look that SRG are desperate right now. SRG. How this happened, by the way, is spit spit getting fobs really quickly at the start of the game. Ooh, righteous Almond not controlling that uh not controlling that recall, eventually getting the kill on Raptor. Dips behind the hill before Crypex gets the kill on him. Quick look at your map again. So 29 is not being capped. They all push towards the shield. But 24 is being capped. And it's a minus 30 ticket bleed right now. 163 tickets to 57. They need the 118 tickets, over 118 tickets to win the game. And SRG are pouring towards the shield. But the issue is they're pouring towards the shield. 24 is being capped. And... The tickets are minus 30. This is going to be over in two minutes. Less than two minutes, obviously, depending on when that ticket bleed started. Let's get close. We have a roofer. Oh, Andy gets the kill just using that tree. But alive. the nade gets two of them. The nade gets two of them. Google man, he's just going to be sat there holding. He just, like I said, they, Spit don't have to push right now. 24 about to go down. Let's watch what sort of ticket bleed we get. 120 ticket bleed. And that's going to be game over in a minute. In one minute, it's going to be game over. Walk's getting the kill. That was an instant kill. And there we go. Spit winning the game. The comeback. 161 ticket win. Wow. Wow. I didn't know where to look. I didn't know where to look. Out fragging them. Just about out reviving, out reviving them. But more importantly, getting those 161 tickets, was it, in comparison to SRG's 118? And that was a game. That was a game, a squad. Whew. What a comeback second round. I enjoyed that. I don't know about anyone else, but that was fun. So that's been your game. That was that was crazy in the end. That 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 really, like everything that Spit did there just suited them and they really they just really hit those. And by the way, they had to deal with what I thought, and I don't know if I'm correct, a glitched hab that was letting a uh, glitch radio which was letting SRG spawn in. That could have happened earlier and it just turned into an infantry battle. Fantastic. That's been your game. Thank you very much. Cheers for all your follows, all your subs. It is massively appreciated. Uh, I will, after this game ends, I will send you to a game that's already going on. Do exclamation mark info in chat. We'll give you all the information in regards to the tournament. Uh, if you are interested in buying squad and you love the look of this game, do exclamation mark squad. And that will take you to the Steam page of... Uh, 
of the game. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Please, uh, I would appreciate a follow for that game. I, I, I absolutely enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, bonsoir.